<laughs> All right, this is the party at CHMR. I'm your host, Warren Gordon. We're sitting here with The Connections. How are you folks doing? Good. How's it going? Good. Great. Welcome back to the party. Uh, you guys were here about a year ago, actually. I think I was looking back at the interview um, earlier, and it was about a year ago to this week, actually. No, I really? You guys were here, so... It's our one-year anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Where's the cake? <laughs> so what have you guys been up to since, I guess, since then? Uh, I guess we've had a bit of a personnel change, so um, we now have Mr. Len O'Neill here, the band, playing bass. Oh, oh, oh. So ooh, ooh, that's, ooh, that's ooh. pretty great. <laughs> 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 he does use a real instrument when we play shows, oh, not just his vocal cords. <clears throat> um, and yeah, and we've recorded an album, so that's very exciting. Yeah. Uh, so what can you tell us about the album? Um, well, we started recording it, I guess, in the spring last spring and um we um uh, yeah just kind of worked on the song we were, we were thinking about doing an ep and then when we got into the studio which was uh, lab of chaos it's christian leslie's studio there then uh we ended up doing eight songs so we just said like okay we're just gonna do an eight song album and that's uh that's kind of what it turned into yeah we ended up we recorded it in two uh it's two phases or whatever. Yeah. And the first half was recorded in the studio with Christian, and then the second half we recorded in Adrian's house. Mm-hmm. A little bit um, in your house, too. Yeah, we did record some in my house, A little too. bit, yeah. yeah. Uh, just some overdubs and stuff. And then, yeah, we, using the miracle of studio technology, <laughs> fused them in an illusion, so it seems like <laughs> it's all happening at once. Yeah. Ah, oh, the secret's out. <laughs> <laughs> We actually don't play anything on the record. <laughs> okay. We want that to be on record, that we don't play anything on the record. Yeah. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> For the record. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess let's give the, the folks a preview of the album. This is uh, the first track off the album, Against the Tide. All right. We're back here with The Connections. Um, so you guys were just saying that you had a show. Uh, was it last week? Uh... I, yeah, our show was, was it two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. That was the uh, Mun Med School Masquerade. So it was a big fundraiser that the uh, Mun Med School puts on every year. It was at the convention center. And I think there was upwards of around 500 people there. And uh, yeah, it was a great time. It was definitely the most people we played for. And uh, I thought it went really well. We had people dancing, played played kind of a mixture of our own of our own songs, which are... Uh, you know, which are going to be coming out on the album, and um, and lots of covers from the 50s and 60s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a good time. Yeah. So, um, you guys also played in Music and Ella as well. Yeah. Uh, the showcase there, and I guess that went over well? It did. Yeah, yeah. I thought it went really well. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it was a good crowd. That was in uh, Gander, so we played at the Legendary Legends. <laughs> <laughs> and... I thought yeah, it was it was a good show. We we had five songs, so um, we tried to we tried to make it pretty seamless. And um, yeah, I think I think people dug it. You know, our stuff is pretty upbeat, so we had people on the dance floor, and um, yeah, the reception was pretty good, for sure. We found a photo on the wall of Adrian's dad. <laughs> did you? Yeah, yeah, we did. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see that. My, my dad is now, I guess, officially a legend. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. At the legend. Well, how about that? Yeah, my dad was a uh, big quite involved in politics I guess for a bit I mean not necessarily politics but government so he was in the public eye for a while what kind of rock party is this guys (laughs) (laughs) do you know who else was on do you know who else was on the wall though just a little bit up from Adrian's uh, Uh, Adrian's dad I saw like Bruce the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. But to to tie my dad in with the connections, okay, <laughs> he wrote a book called Against the Tide. Oh yes. Yeah. And I guess that's maybe where I took the title of our, you guess uh, of the song. <laughs> that would be that would be the most coincidence so thing. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Uh, but I, I, yeah, I wrote the song. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess where that that's where that came from. Guess so. what's so. <laughs> up? Oh, how about that? Yeah. Oh, the book almost stands out in the bookshop. Every time I go there, it's the first time I see this book called Against the Tide. And I had no idea that it was like related to you in any way. Yeah. Uh, maybe you had written this book <laughs> in preparation for the song and then uh, <laughs> had it published. And I do that for all backwards. my songs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Write, Write a book, book first. Yeah. And then. Yeah. The song's good, but the book's better. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually better. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, let's say we go back for another track, eh? Yeah, sounds sure. good. All right, this is the second track. This is a lot of love in. It was Sunrise by The Connections. Now, during the break, you guys were saying that um, you guys might be releasing this song as a single. Is that true? Not true? I or... don't know. We were, we we're just kind of discussing, I guess, which, uh, which, which song that was the most maybe radio-friendly one on the album. And, uh, yeah, we, we all do like that one. Like, it, it came out pretty smooth, and we were just talking about maybe some of the some of the, the, so the some of the influences on the song, and um, Mark was mentioning uh, '80s rock. So, if anyone out there is familiar with the Replacements, that's uh, maybe kind of a feel that it has. Also, kind of the Birds, so that kind of jangly yeah. '60s rock with the guitar line there. We're, yeah, we're. I guess we're just we're dinner. happy. We're happy with how the song turned out. Yeah. 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 This release as a single. <laughs> I, that's, yeah. I, that's what I suggest. <laughs> Good job, Mark. Good. All right. Yes. We could, we could do that. Yeah. Sure. But I think pretty much, you know, I, I feel good about the album as a whole in terms of singles because it's. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, even, uh, yeah, someone mentioned, like, oh, yeah, like any of these songs could be a single, and that's maybe kind of the feel that we were going for with the album. This album, album is. is stacked with hits. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Record, record producers the out there, you know, label, you know, label executives, please take note. You want to make some money? <laughs> Sign the connections. We're, we're a sure thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking of the album as a whole, um, the album title is Connect Four. So I guess who in the band came up with Connect Four or did it just, you know, come to you guys like... The original title was Beatlemania <laughs> with the connections, and that got vetoed. We would have got sued, I think. <laughs> we still might. Yeah. Yeah, true. Um, they didn't like Beatlemania with the connections, and so Adrian, um, I don't know, how did you come up with that? Adrian came to us one day with the Connect Four idea. If, I mean, it probably started how we started as friends by our Connect Four League and started a band out of the Connect Four League. Right, like we were friends from playing Connect Four first, and, and online, and then four. Competitive, <laughs> True. international competitive Connect Four. four but, yeah. yeah, and then which I was the know. champ at, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I just trying to get that out of there. Then we decided to make a record full of hits instead. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah that could have been what happened. What really happened <laughs> is that, uh, yeah, I guess I guess there's kind of a, a retro. Feel <laughs> to uh, to some of the music, and um, I'm I'm big into the '60s, and uh, especially. So I, I was just just had this idea in mind of the Connect Four game, and there's four of us. So we ended up getting an image on for our CD cover of the Connect Four game, and our bodies are like stuck in the game. It's pretty cheesy, but um, kind of fun, and kind of kind of goes with the. You know the fun and kind of upbeat style of our music, I guess. So that's that's kind of where the idea came from. Yeah. So speaking of the album artwork, uh, who put that the, together? So that was uh, Maria Penny, aka Maya Mia mm-hmm. Penny. Yeah, I think yeah. And her, a lot of her work, she's starting a company called uh, Kraken yeah. Productions. Kraken. K R A C C K E N, I think. Like, like the see. mystical beast, yeah. Kraken. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's like an octopus. Yeah, it's like an octopus. Yeah, it's like a giant octopus. Yeah, but uh, she, like Len and Steve, are both in uh, a band called Green and Gold, and um, she did the artwork for them. So Len suggested that that we use. Or maybe it was you. Was it Steve? I don't know. Some mm-hmm. one of you. One of you guys say suggested me. that. Uh, yeah, that that she did ours too. And um, yeah, she did, and she did a wicked job. So we're really happy with that. We basically kind of copped the uh, box of the connect four box um just the look of that and uh yeah and she did a good fine job kind of uh-huh. getting into that throwback for uh for uh 1960s and 70s uh, board gaming mm-hmm. yeah yeah just a fun fun idea yeah all right let's hear uh some more connections this is i'll get you in the end we're back. <laughs> back here with the Connections on the party. Uh, we just heard I'll Get You in the End from their brand new record, Connect Four. Um, so you guys have a, re- a CD release show next week. Uh, what can you guys tell us about that? 
Yeah, we're going to be playing at the Rose and Thistle. It's definitely one of our favorite places to play. We've always had a lot of fun playing there. It's on Water Street? Yeah, Water Street. So that's uh, Saturday, November 30th. And uh, we got uh, two great bands opening up for us, Run to the Rocks and Tom and the Tomcats. Which me and Lynn are in. Which, yeah, <laughs> Steve and Lynn are actually in too, as they are in half the bands in the city, <laughs> which is sweet. Uh, we'll be playing songs from Slow Motion Pictures. Uh, which is Tom's album? <laughs> yeah, true. So yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have CDs and cassettes for sale. Um, it's kind of a wicked deal we got going. So it's gonna be seven dollars just to get in, and then if you want to pay fifteen dollars, you get you get in obviously, and then you get a copy of the tape or cassette and a beer ticket. So it's a pretty sweet deal. And yeah, we're very excited about that. It's gonna be a good night. Mm -hmm. So uh, my final question is, uh, where can people connect with the connections? So we've got in their uh, <laughs> <laughs> other than in their hearts. <laughs> you can also go to our Facebook page, <laughs> which is facebook.com backslash uh, connections Ben, and connections is spelled with an X. Um, and then we also now have a Bandcamp site, so that's just um, connections with an X again. Dot bandcamp com, and our plenty of fish account <laughs> also has an X in it, but it's tri it's three X's, triple X. <laughs> Nobody told me that we had one of those. <laughs> we've been using it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've been we've been previewing some of the tracks on on our Bandcamp page there. So if you, if you go on there and and on our Facebook, then you'll find uh, some free downloads there. So a couple of teasers. Everyone to check that out. <laughs> And then after you've done that, you can go to the Plenty of Fish account. And do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks guys for coming in. Thanks for having us. Thanks, thanks for having us. Guys. Thanks.